If you have a backyard bird feeder, you can expect a few more feathered visitors as the cold, lean months of winter close in. Mm. And the birds of our state are facing new pressures from a changing climate. As new sitter Maine's Don Kerrigan reports, it could even affect some of our most familiar and beloved species. There may be nothing that brings life to our landscape as much as birds. Their songs, their calls, their color and variety, and the sheer spectacle of their flight. We may see a squirrel, but we marvel at a bird. Doug Hitchcock of Maine Audubon knows them well and says some of our birds won't be able to endure a warming climate. I always love saying, you know, why should we care about a salt marsh sparrow? Here on the edge of Maine's Presumpscot River, he says the little salt marsh sparrows love to eat insects that we hate. The birds nest in the salt hay of the marsh, but when an unusual high tide floods in, it destroys the sparrow's nest and eggs, one of the unseen ways rising sea levels will change Maine. Since 1990, the population has declined around 80%. So we're seeing um, uh, roughly 9% uh, population declines annually. He says higher tides more often mean the future for the sparrow is bleak. Unfortunately, without uh, any true conservation effort, um, it's a species that would definitely go extinct probably in our lifetimes, um, given the trends that we're seeing right now. There will be a trade-off of sorts, he says. The frequently flooded marshes will become better food sources for some other shorebirds. And birds can be remarkably resilient. Look at the recovery of the bald eagle and the osprey, both so significant in Maine. Over time, will the bird species you see in a place like this, will those change? Yeah, definitely. Uh, and actually, like, just up here right now, it's a high, thin uh, call note, but there's tufted titmice calling overhead mm -hmm. right now. And that's a species that you don't have to go too far back in time, and they basically weren't here in Maine. Hitchcock says those birds were rarely seen here in the 1950s, but have become much more common. For a lot of these species that are typically more kind of uh, southern ranging, and we're seeing them expanding their range northward, um, that is a direct result of the climate here getting, getting warmer. Including these, Hitchcock says, the red-bellied woodpecker, all benefiting, in a sense, from a warmer climate. The way I would say it is that they're reacting to climate change. So they're able to kind of expand, uh, again, northward, kind of moving into some of these areas. But just as our forest is being changed, as cooler climate species of trees get pushed northward, Doug Hitchcock says it's already happening with some birds, like the boreal chickadee. Moving northward and kind of moving out of some of the areas that they've historically been in, so especially down east Maine. And worst of all, perhaps, the bird more beloved than any in Maine. Probably one of our most iconic species that we might uh, lose because of that, that range expanding is the common loon. That, you know, otherworldly, you know, yodeling call that you hear on Maine lakes in the summer. Uh, to think that that could be gone in the next 50 years as they keep moving northward, uh, that would really kind of change the iconic vision of Maine. So it's that much of a threat to the loon? Yeah, um, they really, uh, uh, between the, the food they're dependent on, um, the, the areas that they'll go to, um, as the climate warms, we're gonna see them keep moving northward. And while we may be blessed with some new birds as the climate keeps warming, if these predictions come to pass, the loss of the loon and the boreal chickadee and others will change Maine and change us. Tomorrow night, we're going to take a closer look at Maine's changing climate and see how families in our state are learning to adapt to the challenges. Our one hour special report begins tomorrow night at 7 p.m. right here on New Center, Maine.